Hello bookish friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting a 48 hour reading marathon vlog. So it's Friday afternoon. I worked this morning and now I'm back home working from home. I am having a bit of a terrible mental health day. I'm feeling really anxious. Um, I don't even know if it's called anxious or just like frazzled because I was on vacation from last Saturday to this Wednesday, came home Wednesday night and then had a work event Thursday night that I had to be away for and now it's Friday and I'm back home. So I've been gone from like for like a week and then Chris is gone this weekend for a bachelor party and then I go away next weekend for a bachelorette party. And honestly, just being away from my house like for this long, just, I don't know, it stresses me out. I love being home and I'm such a homebody so like being away this much like kills me. And being away from my dog kills me and being away from Chris kills me so it's just a bad time. And to top it all off, Louie has had diarrhea for like three weeks now. He's having some sort of belly issue and I can't figure it out so I went to Benson's to see what they recommended and got. Benson's is a local pet store near me, just to preface, but I don't know, it's just been, it's been a crazy week and I'm just feeling very stressed out and just like drained and burnt out from life. But um, as I said, I have the house to myself this weekend, which I'm sad Chris is not home, but also like will not be distracted from reading, which is great. So I'm going to be reading for the next 48 hours and I'm gonna see how much I can read. I have a TBR, so my first book is on my Kindle. It's Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. Um, it's literally all over BookTok, Bookstagram, everywhere, so it's a cowboy romance. I started out at 25%. I did a little reading this morning. I started out at 25%, I'm on 33%, so I'm hoping I can finish this today. Wishful thinking. Um, the next book on it is A Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. This is obviously a very short novella. It's like 150 pages. So if I finish Done and Dusted today, I'm hoping I can at least start this tonight, finish it tomorrow morning. And then if I'm feeling really ballsy, I want to at least read a decent chunk of, I honestly have no idea how to pronounce this word. Excuse me, Mr. Bookmark. Uh, I think it looks like Levithian Wakes by James S.A. Corey. This is his Expanse series. It's like a space opera. It's a thick book. It's almost like 600 pages, so this is my little TBR for the weekend for the next 48 hours. I'm hoping I can at least finish these two books and get a decent amount of the way through this big boy, um, but we shall see. Right now, I just made myself some a late lunch. I'm going to put a comfort movie on because I'm feeling really stressed. I'm gonna put a comfort movie on, eat my lunch, and then get more reading done. So let's do this 48 hour reading marathon. Okay, lunch today is leftover penne alla vodka I made Wednesday night. And the comfort movie I chose is Little Mermaid. I love this movie. Just letting you know that you, even though you probably don't really need to know. I switched the movie I was watching because that Little Mermaid thing that I put on was like a show and I was just not into it. So I put on my next, one of my favorite comfort shows ever and that is Toy Story. So I will now, whoa, I forget to zoom out. Oh, zooming in. Um, so I will now be having myself a Toy Story movie marathon while I continue reading Done and Dusted. So this is a great mental health activity if you ask me. So let's enjoy the peace and quiet and calm ourselves together. Hello, Yingzu!
doing? Come here. Hello. Are you going? Okay, it is officially Friday evening. I'm gonna do a quick reading update before I take my doggy for a W-A-O-K. -okay. I am now 64% of the way through Don't and Don't, why do I keep saying that? Done and dusted. Um, it got spicy. Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> the cover of this book is like very like incognito for what's actually happening in this book. It's spicy and I love it. Um, but I have to charge my Kindle, so I figured I'd go take my doggy for you know what. And then I'm gonna come back and read more. I don't, I literally don't feel like doing anything for the rest of the night. I might order food tonight, I don't know. I have extra pasta, so I might finish that up, but we'll see. Okay, don't mind my sweaty appearance. We just went for a two mile walk. It was so much hotter outside than I was thinking it was, and now me and Louie are both dying. Um, but. It's about dinner time, so I actually have to go run and grab some prescriptions, and since I'm doing all the comforting things today to help my mental health, we're gonna get McDonald's for dinner. <laughs> uh, I like I, I work for a company that does deliveries for McDonald's, so I try not to eat it as much as possible, but you know, when you're feeling like shit and you're really like in your head, sometimes you just gotta do the things that make you happiest, you know? So we're gonna go do that, and then we're gonna come back, continue my Toy Story marathon, apparently, and we are going to finish done and dusted because now I'm really into it and I don't have that much more to read. And when I'm reading it, it like reads so fast. So we can definitely finish that tonight. I think I have like an hour and a half left in the book according to my Kindle. So let's go. errands I ended up not getting my prescriptions because line was ridiculously long and for some reason that CVS that I go to takes like years to do what they got to do but I did secure my McDonald's they ran out of fries and I had to wait a little while but it wasn't a big deal um, I'm going to feed my dog because he's staring at me the idea Benson told me was to feed him only this it's the Dave's restricted diet bland diet chicken and rice it's like a wet food. And then she also recommended giving him these supplements. They are the Open Farm supplements. This is a probiotic. And then this is an immune boost. So she said to mix these in with his foods or give him treats. So I gave him this this morning. I'm gonna give him this at night. One this morning at like 10 o'clock. And when we walked, he did take a solid poop. So that's a good sign. That helped me feel a little bit better. So feed him he loves this because he's getting wet food and what dog doesn't want to eat anything but kibble like he sees this and he's like yep i'll lick that bowl clean and i'll give him three of these immune things i have used like open farm like their freeze-dried food and he loved it he liked the salmon and white fish like freeze-dried food and i used to put it over like top it his food with it so when she told me these supplements, I was like, oh, all right, I'm familiar with the brand. I think I could do that. Dog is fed. Now it is time for this human to eat. So my Kindle is charging right now. So while I eat, I'm gonna watch more of Toy Story. I'm on Toy Story 3 now, so it's getting wild over here. And then I'm going to continue reading. So see you on the other side.
I was in the middle of watching my movie, right? And Louis starts barking and I see a notification at my front entrance. I think I got book mail. Pretty sure this is also from Mac Macmillan. At some point last week, I got book mail and I was shocked and I got this book called as What Became of Magic by Paige Crutcher. And now I got this other package. Ooh. Ooh. Came in a little silk bag. It says, a true lady always follows her instincts, never the rules. True. Oh my God, this is like, this is like the coolest thing about like the internet is like now that I'm like posting about stuff, I'm getting packages. Oh my God, hell yeah. Act like a lady, think like a lord. It's got like a little face on there and there's like a little quote, it's like a little fan. I will a thousand percent use this. I gotta keep my head in this spot to the window. Let's see what the book is. Oh my God, I feel so freaking cool. It came with like a little bookmark. It's a giant bookmark, but it says the annual spring ball order of dances. And there's like a list of something. Oh my God, how freaking cool is this? I love my life right now. This is exactly what I needed on a day like today where I was feeling like shit, but. All right, there's a little note that says, you've been selected to receive an early copy of Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Lord by Celeste Connolly. So this is the book. This cover is beautiful. It looks like a cozy mystery. As Bridgerton meets Agatha Christie with a dash of bringing down the Duke in this dazzling first entry in a fierce new Regency era cozy series. Ah! Hell yeah. All right, so the synopsis says, when Lady Petra fourth, I don't know, the fiance dies, she makes the shocking proclaimment in front of London's loosest lips that she will never remarry. A woman of independent means, Petra sees no reason to cede her wealth in freedom to any man. Instead, she uses her title to enjoy the best of society without expectations. But when ballroom gossip suggests that a friend has died of melancholy, Petra uncovers a private asylum where men pay to have their wives and daughters locked away or worse. Oh my God. Just as Lady Petra has reason to believe her friend is not dead, but a prisoner, her own headstrong actions and thirst for independence are put to her own freedom, put her own freedom in jeopardy. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. It's, a, it's basically a cozy romance, but like, it's like a cozy historical romance. That's freaking fun. It's like a little under 300 pages. How fun is that? I got a little note, a little bookmark that I can use, and then a cute little fan. Oh my God. So this came from Minotaur Books, is that how you pronounce it? That definitely is not right. Minotaur, how do you pronounce that? But I think this is like a branch off Macmillan and I am so excited. I don't know how I get chosen for these things, but like whenever I get any book in the mail, I am so freaking grateful and getting advanced copies is like the coolest thing ever to me. The other book that they sent me last week was also an early copy, but that one's out in like September, I think, so. I got lots of reading to do. I am so excited about this. Like, this is like the coolest thing ever to me. Like, when I first started like posting on Bookstagram, I never in my life thought that I would be somebody that would be receiving advanced copies of books and whatnot, but I am so excited. Look at how cute this cover is. Did I even give you a moment for the cover? How freaking cute is this cover? Like, I am obsessed. Oh my God, I can't wait to read. This might have to go to the top of my TBR. I love a good cozy ro or cozy romance, Jesus. I love a cozy mystery. You, I wanna say it's Minotaur books, I don't know. Minotaur, Minotaur books, for sending me this and for the uh, to the author, uh, Celeste Connolly. I can't wait to read. I will obviously be updating you with my thoughts either on Instagram or on here, but oh, I forgot, hello? I also forgot it came with a cute little bag, which I will definitely be keeping this and using it for when I travel. That is just so freaking cute. But thank you so, so much. Like, it means the world to me that you thought I was special enough to send an early copy. And I cannot wait to read and tell everybody my thoughts. So thank you again. And let's get back to reading. You need to join an ice cream? What do you got?
Okay, hello. It is 9.22 at night and I just finished Done and Dusted. Ugh, my heart. I was not expecting to like that as much as I did. Um, but that was a five star. That was so good. I think the thing I liked about it was like there was no like third act breakup where like you're 80% of the way through and they have like a huge blowout and a fight and then for the next like 20% you're like what the fuck are they gonna get back together blah blah blah. I don't always love that in a romance book because it just frustrates me. I like when they get together and stay together. The big conflict in this book was that the main character Emmy, her brother is best friends with the dude she's fucking. So Luke and her, Emmy's brother are best friends. So that was kind of like the issue and why they had to kind of keep their relationship secretive. Um, I literally was like almost in tears when it got to the part where Emmy raced again and I was like so on the edge of my seat like what's gonna happen? Is something bad gonna happen? And that's how the book ends. But all's good. That was a delicious book. The spice in this book was top notch. Um, I loved it and I cannot wait to read her other book Swift and Saddled I think it's called that's coming out in the fall of this year. So I legitimately cannot wait. I can't believe this book came from a debut author. A1, five star, so freaking good. If you have not read that book, please read it. My favorite part of this whole book was how much Luke like loved that Emmy stood up for him and like fought for him. Like when they went to go see his mother and he said, oh my God, like thank you so much for that. Nobody's ever stood up for me before. I almost lost it. Like literally was like, oh my God, this poor guy, all he ever wanted was to just be loved. Like it's just, oh, it was so sad, but also so good. I don't think I'm going to stop thinking about that book for a while. And I loved it. I loved every second of it. So, so far for this reading vlog, I have read around 244 pages. I don't know exactly what page I started on, but I kind of did a rough calculation. And I read about 244 pages. I also finished Toy Story 4, like, around the same time I was finishing this book. And my heart was just a mess. Like, Toy Story ends, like, it's so happy that it's sad. And I was like on the edge of tears from the movie and also on the edge of tears from the freaking book. So I'm just an emotional wreck. But it's late, but I want to I wanna take a shower because I was sitting outside and now I'm feeling itchy. And I've been doing laundry all day and I need to do finish it. So that is the plan. And then, even though it is late at night, but I do want to start A Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. Um, this one is obviously very short. So I'm hoping that I can read a decent amount tonight. And I can finish this tomorrow morning and we'll be killing it with this reading vlog so far. So one book down, one and hopefully half to go. So yay. This is starting off great, which is fantastic. I always get nervous doing reading vlogs because I'm like, what happens if I end up hating the books or like I get to a point in a book and I don't want to read it anymore and then I DNF it? Like, is that fun to watch? No, you want to read books that you like. And we started out strong, so yay. See you in a little while. Okay, I'm now in bed, not showered. I just decided I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning. I'm too, I'm too fucking lazy. I did switch over my laundry. And the reason I'm not showering tonight is because tomorrow morning I have to like wake up, clean the house, mow the lawn, so I know I'm gonna be a sweaty mess. And I don't like cleaning my hair more than I need to. So, we're in bed. It's about 10, it's exactly 10 p.m. And I am starting a Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. This book is only, let's see. It's only 147 pages, so I'll probably stay up till like midnight, maybe. So I could probably get a decent amount of this read today if I can like sit down and focus. Um, I'm probably gonna throw in another movie if my freaking TV will work. It wasn't working earlier in our bedroom and it's still not working. And Chris is the techie guy that fixes this shit and I don't understand it, so we'll see. But I'm going to see how much I can read tonight. If I could fit, do half of this, I'd be pretty damn happy, so let's go. I also realized I never told you what this book is about. Um, <coughs> honestly, I don't really know much of what this is about, so I'm just gonna read you the summary. It says, it's been centuries since the robots of Panga gained self-awareness and laid down their tools. Centuries since they wandered en masse into the wilderness, never to be seen again. 
centuries since they faded into myth and urban legend. One day, the life of a tea monk is upended by the arrival of a robot there to honor the old promise of checking in. The robot has one question, what do people need? But the answer to that question depends on who you ask and how, and they're going to need to ask it a lot. So some of the blurbs on the back, it says this was an optimistic vision of a lush, beautiful world that came back from the brink of disaster. Exploring it with the two main characters was a fun and fascinating experience. Uh, I guess we'll find out. It's called a monk and robot book, so. And there's a second book to it, so. If I am as reading this as fast as I want to and I'm hooked at the end of it, I might read this. <laughs> I might read the second book in this too, who knows? But let's go. Good morning. It is now Saturday at about 10.30 a.m. I just made my coffee, as you saw. Um, I did get, where's the book? Halfway through this last night. I'm like right at the halfway point. The halfway point is like 71 pages. I'm on page 69. Um, loving it so far. It's so cute. It's just so easy to read. Like, we have our main guy, Sibling Dex, who I don't know exactly what the situation is because they never really explain like what he was. But he goes off on his own, leaves his home city to go be a tea monk. And he just wants to be out in nature. He wants to be away from the city life. Um, so he gets this wagon and goes to the other, I don't even know, to this other part of where he lives. And it's a lot more like farmland, agriculture, a lot more space, not as many tall buildings and not a lot of like people. Um, he becomes a really popular tea monk and loves it and then... After about two years of doing this, he feels the same way he did when he was in the city that like, this just doesn't seem like it's for me. Like, I feel like there's something else out there for me. I'm kind of bored in my life, whatnot. So this is when he goes to this other place that's even more abandoned and there's really no people there and people haven't gone to this one part of this area in centuries forever because it's just not kept up. Um, it's kind of like forbidden land. They have this, um, society has like a kind of like a understanding that 50% can be for humans and 50% is for the wildlife and the nature and all that so he goes to a place that no humans live and when he goes there his first night he stops in this one little spot that's flat so his wagon can sit and while he's like showering and getting out all of a sudden this robot comes out from the woods and the robot came and said, "We're. I'm just looking to see what humans need. Um, I want to go and talk to every single human. We do this once in a while, but he's like, I'm not bringing you to talk to every human because that's going to take forever. But now they're kind of chatting and figuring out what the hell's going on. So really liking this so far. I am actually running out to go do a couple errands. I got to go do an Amazon return, a Kohl's return, and I finally got to pick up those damn prescriptions. So I'm going to go do that this morning. I should mow the lawn, but we'll see if that happens. That might be a tomorrow thing. Like when I have a lot of stuff to do, I like to space it out between my days. So that might be a tomorrow thing because I want to come back and finish this. I might go to my in-laws pool later and then I'm going to, I don't know, do whatever I want for the rest of the day. We'll see. Louie is having himself a pool day. Me doing?
Okay, I have a reading update. Um, it is about 3.15 on Saturday. I finished A Song for the Wild Bill by Becky Chambers. This was also a five star, can you believe it? Two five stars in one reading blog. Um, this was just beautiful. Like, I thought it was gonna be more, I don't know what I thought it was gonna be actually, but the friendship between this robot and this monk, this tea monk is like just beautiful. And the whole premise of the book is basically the tea monk is kind of feeling lost in life and like doesn't know his purpose, knew his purpose for a while and then he started to feel the way he did when he was in the city. And then now that he did what he wanted to do, he doesn't know what to do with his life. And the robot kind of just explains to him like, who cares if you make an impact on the world in your life? Like that's not what we're made for. And kind of just saying, as long as you're happy doing what you're doing and you, if you want to change what you do every six months, every year, like that's fine. Like that's your purpose in life pretty much to be doing whatever makes you happy. And honestly, I feel like with the way this blog started and how like anxious and just like burnt out I was feeling, this is the exact book I needed to read. So if you're feeling burnt out and like, I don't want to say lost in life, but kind of just like, Ugh, like this is just not it. Read this book and it's short and it's quick. So I love this five star and I can't wait to read the second because I'm interested to know how, if it leads right back off where they stopped and if it's the same two characters or what, but another five star read. So I'm actually gonna go run to Sephora really quick. <laughs> I don't have any foundation that matches my face that I'm tan. Um, so I'm gonna go grab that. I'm gonna come back, put my laundry away, take a shower. And then I'm going to start my third book, which is Levithian Wigs. I still have to figure out how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna start that when I get back and finish putting away my laundry and showering. And then I'm going to a movie around eight o'clock. So we'll see how much reading we can get done before then. I'll probably come back and read a little bit too. And then tomorrow I will finish out this reading vlog. I have about until the afternoon to complete my 48 hours. So I have until, I have tomorrow to read too. So, so far two five star books. Okay, hello friends. I'm back from the mall. It was chaotic there. It was like, let me let me turn this way. Um, the mall was absolutely chaotic. Like, I don't know. I got so overwhelmed being in there, but I did get what I needed. I use a powder foundation for like every day and then for like events and whatnot. Mm. Dog. Um, I don't know if the camera just heard that, but Louie just farted. Louie! He said that was not me. Um, so I use a powder foundation for like every day. And then for like events and whatnot, I use like obviously a liquid foundation. So I needed that. And I got myself a new blush because when I'm tan, like the blushes that I currently have don't show up on my skin. And I wanted something that made me look like I had beautiful sunburned cheeks. So I got that. Um, I put away my laundry and as I was doing it and recording it, my camera died. So what I've been doing for the last hour, you didn't see anything. I obviously took a shower and now I'm sitting down to read. I am watching Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. <laughs> it's like my guilty pleasure. Um, but I am gonna start reading. It's Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. Peru's project here on YouTube is the one who like always talks about this series and she's the one that made me wanna read it. And I just watched her video of her doing a reading vlog of this from like a year ago to see how she pronounced it and she pronounces it Leviathan Wakes. So that's what we're gonna call it. Um, this book is thick. This is a big, big book. It is, let's see how many pages. 561 pages. So it is currently, what time is it? Hold on. It's 5.40 on Saturday. Um, one of my friends is coming over in like two hours and we're gonna have a movie night here instead of going to the mall and seeing the Barbie movie. Um, so I have about two hours-ish until she gets here. So I'm gonna spend the next two hours sitting here doing nothing and seeing how much I can read. I have until about probably like 1 p.m. tomorrow to conclude this reading vlog. So I'm hoping I can get at least a third of the way through this book. So if I did that, how many? I got a third of the way through this book. I would have to get to page 187 by tomorrow. I think I can do it. 
I don't know. Honestly, I'm just hoping I can get 100 pages in. I think in the next two hours, I mean, yeah, the next two hours, I can probably read a decent amount. I usually average about 60 pages per hour, but that's if I'm like literally sitting there doing absolutely nothing and I don't think I can do that for two hours. Who knows? This book may be really freaking good. Uh, we shall see. Book number three, here we go. Okay, good morning, friends. Um, it's now Sunday at about 10.30, 10.38. Um, I just woke up. I slept like a freaking zombie last night. Went to bed at like one and just knocked out for the entire night, which was great. Where's was my book. Last night I had a friend over and we watched a movie and ordered Domino's. Oops, somebody's calling me. He can wait. Um, so last night I got to chapter five, page 47 of Leviathan Wakes. Um, so far, really liking it. It is kind of confusing because, like, some of the stuff is just, it's too much for my brain to comprehend, but I am liking it. Um, I'll update later. I actually, Chris will be home in like four hours, so I need to mow the lawn and like clean this house. So I'm going to spend the next hour or so doing that. Probably, it's probably going to take me two hours to like mow, clean, and whatever. Um, but, that's what we are doing right now. I just made my coffee and put it in the fridge so that when I'm done mowing, I can come back and make it. Um, but yeah, I have, I'm going to give myself until Chris gets home to finish out this reading vlog because he'll be home kind of by the time I started it on Friday. So we shall see. So let's mow, let's clean, and then we'll read. Oh, you going crazy. Okay, just a quick update. It is now 2 p.m. on Sunday. Um, I ran to Benson's, my pet store, again to get Louie more of that wet food because he is so picky that he doesn't eat his kibble unless there's something on top of it. So I had to go get more of that. And then my parents actually ended up getting home from vacation as I was driving like past where they live. So I was like, oh, let me go stop. So I stopped there for like an hour and a half. Mother Nature decided to bless me right now. So now I have like the world's worst cramps. But it is time to read. I think I'm gonna go sit outside for a little while and see how long I can last out there. It's not like hot, but it's kind of hot, so let's go. Never mind it being outside, this man wants to go inside, so we're gonna go lay on the couch. Okay, my fun is coming to an end in an hour. <laughs> Chris is an hour away from being home. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm very excited for him to be home. But also, like, I'm such an introvert that I need, like, time by myself to just decompress. And after the last, like, week or two I've been having, I needed it. So I am on page 60 of Leviathan Wakes. So let's see how much I can read in the next hour. Alright, all right. I'm here to close out this 48 hour reading marathon vlog. It is 3.40 p.m. on Sunday and I got a lot of reading done this weekend. Um, this weekend was much needed for my mental health. Um, when I first started this on Friday, I was feeling really like, I don't even know how to describe how I was feeling. I was just feeling off. Like I didn't feel like I had my shit together. I felt like I just needed time to decompress and get away from the world, so that's what I did. Um, let's do a quick reading wrap up. I read basically, I don't even know, like I, I don't know how much I read book wise. So the first book I read and finished was Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. I read 244 pages of that. Before I started the vlog, I read a little bit of it. 
Um, so I started at 25% of it and finished it. I read it on my Kindle. That book was so good, like, just, I don't even know. I'm still thinking about that book. I love the romance in it, but I also liked seeing the backside of both characters' like lives. I liked seeing like Emmy's perspective and talking about, I mean, you learn later on in the book that she's dealing with ADD as an adult, and I feel like right now I am dealing with ADD as an adult, and I'm just not medicated, and I feel like that's why my life is always in shambles, even though it actually isn't, but I love Emmy. Like, I feel like I just resonate with her so much. Like, she just wants to like have her perfect life, but she just can't figure out how to get there and like what it's gonna take to get there. And then Luke, oh my God. My heart breaks for Luke. Um, he was just a broken soul, like never had family or anybody that like loved him, even though he had Emmy's entire family that loved him. And just seeing the relationship between those two and seeing how much they like really love each other and need each other to like be them be their best selves just warmed my heart. And the spice in this one was delicious. Like I loved the spice in this book. So that was a five star read. So we started out strong. Next book I read was A Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. Also absolutely loved this. And this was like, I don't know if it was God's work, but I like had the sudden urge to just read this book. One, because it was short and I knew I could finish it in this vlog. But two, this book talks a lot about like feeling stuck in your life and not knowing like your purpose. The main character, the tea monk, um, sibling Dex, definitely has no idea what he wants to do with his life and he starts out in the city, realizes he doesn't want to be in the city anymore and he doesn't want to be surrounded by all these people and all these giant buildings so then he goes off to be a tea monk. After two years of doing that he's like nope this isn't for me either I feel like there's something greater out there in the world for me and he meets the robot who robots haven't been seen in like centuries and forever. So seeing that like their friendship build like they go on an adventure together to where sibling Dex has always wanted to go um their friendship is just heartwarming like they are just such a good like duo and this robot has just like such great advice saying like i understand why you want your life to have purpose but in the end does it really matter as long as you're happy like if you're not leaving an imprint on the world like it doesn't matter as long as you are happy and you are doing what you want to do and you're being your true self so at that point, when I was reading this book, I was also still struggling with my mental health and this really just like, you know what, that's true. Like, And a big thing in this book, which I didn't mention before, is that the robot kind of makes him, sibling Dex, realize like this is just temporary, this feeling. Like you're feeling like this because you're just, you're in a funk and it's not gonna last. It's just a phase, like you're, you're gonna get through it and you're gonna figure out what you wanna do, but it's just gonna take time. And honestly, I needed that, I needed that, uh, inspiration too so this was also a five star this was 142 pages so i read all of this and then i did get 90 pages into leviathan wakes i'm on chapter nine i'm loving this so far this is a space opera and what i know so far from this book is that this hmm, it starts out with like a whole ship of people being murdered basically and then this one girl is left and that's the end of her story for now and then the other part of the story is that this other space crew was attacked well they they noticed that this one ship was like calling for help went to the part of the crew went to go help them and then the home ship got blown up um and we're kind of going through that there's some relationship in relationships in here that we're kind of learning about um it's from a couple different perspectives from a couple different places like the one perspective is Jim Holden who he is like the main guy on the ship that went to go help this other ship and then his home ship got blown up and then we're also reading from Miller who's on like the main ship that I don't even it's basically like the city of the air that this guy Miller is on and he's a detective or like a security person for that ship so those are kind of the two perspectives we're reading from right now this is a thick thick book I've read this much and it doesn't even look like I made a dent. So I'm gonna keep reading this. And I read 90 pages of this. So total for this vlog, I read, what did I just say? 476 pages, which is unbelievable for me. And if you know, like, I'm not a slow reader, but like it takes me time to get through books just because I work full time and have so much other shit going on in my life. But I am so impressed with myself that I read almost 500 pages. That is amazing to me. And all of these books are like surprisingly like 
really good. I was expecting some of them to be like iffy and me be like, no, I'm bored. I don't want to read this anymore and DNF it, but I'm loving all these books. Obviously, I loved the first two because they were both five stars, but I am really liking Leviathan Wakes. It's a little confusing and some of the stuff is going over my head because it's just like space talk and I just don't get it, but I am loving it. I'm going to continue to read it and yeah, so 476 pages down. This was a very successful 48 hour reading vlog and I'm so happy I did it. I definitely needed this and I needed a weekend to just be with my books. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you like these kinds of videos, definitely let me know in the comments below and I can definitely do more when I have free weekends, which is not often, but you know, we can make time, we can cancel plans. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. And thank you for spending a much needed mental health weekend with me and thanks for watching, bye.